Hey guys, it's Hunter. Welcome back to another episode of Ask a Fish. Let's just get right into it. Hey Hunter, do you plan on reviewing the Ola England solar guitars? Holy crap, a lot of you asked about this. So if you haven't heard Ola England, who's basically the grandfather of metal guitar demos on YouTube, has launched his own brand of guitars, and they look really cool. And I say that as someone who generally doesn't even like pointy guitars. So while Chapman's gone the route of having both the modern and classic lines to appeal to a wide range of guitarists, the solar stuff, at least for now, is laser focused towards the metal camp. They've got Duncan solar pickups, not to be confused with Seymour Duncan, there's something else, graphite nuts, Grover tuners, and they're all made in Indonesia. So from an initial look, they're priced between $5.99 at the low end to $10.99 for the high end. So even the highest end stuff isn't outrageously priced. Not cheap, but still affordable. What's especially cool is that because Ola himself is a touring and recording musician, these are clearly built to be played live or in the studio. The high-end ones all come with Evertune bridges, which I haven't tried myself yet, but I hear only good things about. As the name suggests, it pretty much keeps the guitar in tune under any circumstances. It's not a simple upgrade, there's a lot of routing and stuff involved, so I like that they're being offered across all the high-end models in the lineup. My personal favorites of the launch models are the 699A26 Baritone in Trans Matte Blue, Maple Neck, Swamp Ash Body, 26 and a half inch scale length, and the A16 Artist Limited in Trans Matte Black. Same body woods, but with a slightly shorter scale length and an Evertune bridge. And quick update to this video, it looks like everyone else liked that one too because it's already sold out. So congratulations to Ola on what looks to be a very successful launch. As for whether or not I'll be making videos for solo guitars, unfortunately I don't know Ola personally and he hasn't responded to my Facebook friend request. So rude. Nah, I'm joking. The dude's in two bands, does YouTube, he's launched his own guitar company, and he's a parent. That's like five full-time jobs, so he's probably incredibly busy. I've reached out through the website, and we'll see what happens. In the meantime, if you guys want to see solo guitars, you can vote in the poll by clicking the I button in the corner. Comments are good, but also raw data that shows that there's interest is really helpful in making things happen. What is your favorite Lamb of God release? Yeah, I've mentioned before that I'm a huge Lamb of God fan. When I met Willie Adler, who's the rhythm guitarist in China, and he said that he recognized me from YouTube videos, I'm not gonna lie, that was really freaking cool. And the Fishman Adler signature set is still my favorite pickup set. As far as my favorite release goes, that's so hard to pick. If I had to choose at gunpoint, I'd say Wrath. It's got In Your Words, Broken Hands, Dead Seeds, Everything to Nothing, and I think Grace is probably my favorite Lamb of God song. I can't believe that album is almost 10 years old, by the way. But yeah, it's kind of a toss up between any of the three last albums. They're so, so good. I can't wait for the new album. Hopefully it'll be out next year, along with a new Willie Adler signature guitar, maybe? That'd be so cool. But what about you? Again, polls in the corner. What's your favorite Lamb of God album? Would you ever review Ola's solo guitars? Yep. Before we get into the last questions, a lot of you have been asking for demos of Ibanez guitars, and a lot of you have been asking where you can download the demo tracks. Everything is available on Patreon, which is kind of like an online tip jar. It directly helps cover the costs of making content every week. I don't really like Ibanez guitars that much, but if we reach the first funding goal, I will demo a Jake Bowen signature model with Demarzio Titans and include all your names in the video. Thanks to everyone supporting already. We're only about 10 patrons away. So if you're interested in making that happen, check it out using the link in the description or in the cards. Are you gonna review Solar Guitars, Ola England's guitar brand? Maybe. Which do you prefer, Maxon OD808 or Precision Drive? Sure, so just a bit of context. If you didn't know, Misha Mansur from Periphery founded a pedal company called Horizon Devices. And their first pedal is an overdrive called the Precision Drive, built specifically for boosting high gain amps. Traditionally, metal guitarists have used tube screamer type pedals like the TS9 or the OD808 to saturate and tighten up tube amps, but that wasn't their original purpose. So the Precision Drive is the first one built specifically with this in mind. As for which overdrive I use, that all depends on the situation. I am gonna be talking about this in my precision drive review that's coming soon-ish, hopefully. Guys, you just have to understand it takes me a long time to create anything. Eventually, I'm hoping the Patreon grows to the point where I can hire a video editor because right now, even if I have the gear, Time-wise, I just literally can't do more than one demo a week. But I digress. I don't personally own an 808, so I'm just gonna replace that with a TS9 for your question. So to me, the precision drive is like a surgical knife, and the TS9 is more like a 
Machete. The TS9, I can use the same settings for just about any situation. Rock, metal, whatever. Gain at zero, tone at noon, level at max. It can go in front of the Marshall, or the Jet City, or the Mesa, or any amp, and it just saturates the crap out of it and tightens up that low end. It's kind of like an awesome one-size-fits-all solution for any gear chain or heavy music style. The precision drive, though, is, in my opinion, the best overdrive for metal, but I find it to be much more particular. You get a lot more control and nuance in the settings, but I haven't found that golden setup that works for any signal chain. I find I have to tweak the settings from amp to amp or guitar to guitar to really get the most out of it. In the end, it handles it all really well, there's just more fiddling involved. It's also more controlled, which is amazing for the chugs, especially with the built-in noise gate, I've never gotten tighter or more aggressive rhythms, but it also means the precision drive can sound a little too clean for stuff like hard rock. So TLDR, if I need something that's really tight and precise, I'm going with the surgical knife that is the precision drive. And if I need something more loose and dirty, I'm going with the Tube Screamer Machete. Have you seen the new Solar Guitars? It's a new brand from Ola, England. Yep. Okay, that's it for this week's episode of Ask a Fish. Leave your thoughts and questions below. Don't forget to check out my Patreon if you want to see that Ibanez demo and support what I do. Like, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff, and I'll see you for the next video.